Hi everyone, um, welcome to my presentation on extending cargo. Um, today I wanted to talk about how to make a cargo plugin because it is so extremely trivial and I've seen a lot of people asking um, asking on the Rust subreddit or on Twitter or in random forums, like, how do I do this? Um, because it's so trivial, I figured, okay, let's spend 10, 15 minutes and show people how to go about making a cargo plugin. It's, it's, it's really easy. So the first thing that you need to know is that cargo looks through your path for anything named cargo dash and anything named cargo dash is to the cargo application. It is a legitimate plugin um, to be able to run. So if you typed, um, so it, well, let me just give you an example of it. So let's let's create a um, a little uh, a, a, um, Rust project here called Cargo New, and we'll call it Cargo Bass. Now, before doing anything rusty with it, um, I just want to give you an example of making LS a plugin to Cargo. So I'm gonna go from my user bin LS. I'm gonna copy it into my current working directory. And if I show you my path, you will see that my current working directory is in my path. So um, if I were to rename ls to cargo ls, it is now a legitimate cargo plugin. So if I did a cargo ls, well, I got an error, but it is running the cargo ls application that I have here in my, in my current working directory. And this output from doing cargo space ls is the same thing that you would get if you did cargo dash ls ls. Why is that? Um, that is because um, the args um, that, uh, that is passed into the application that cargo is running. So the application cargo dash ls is receiving an arg zero of the cargo of the plugin name. So in, in as I give you an example for the future, it will be cargo baz, but for right now it's cargo dash ls. And the arg one is the command that you're typing. So in this case, it is ls. Um, so yeah, uh, let's, let's actually make a real plugin here to deal with this argument issue. So let me open up my source main and we will first thing, first things first, let's grab the args. Standard env args, and we'll collect them into a vector. And then let's just um, for uh, an enumeration of INA in args dot iter enumerate. First things first, let's just cargo run that and see what we get. And so we can see that the only thing being passed in the first argument is cargo bats. Um, what if I did the cargo run with hello world? The first argument would be target debug cargo baz, then hello, then world. But what would happen if I ran that as a cargo plugin? So let's copy that. Um, target debug cargo baz here, and then run cargo baz hello world. The first argument is cargo baz. The second argument is baz, and then we get the rest of our arguments. So um, we don't really want um, argument zero. We don't want cargo baz usually. And we usually don't want the command that we're typing into that cargo baz argument thing. So let's let's just get rid of those. 
And we can get rid of those pretty easily by making args mutable. And then we will args dot drain from zero dot dot two. And of course, before we do that, we should have a check to see that we've at least got two arguments here. We always will, but let's just be, be careful about it. If args zero, if args len is less than or equal to two, then we just want to return. So what would happen if I don't provide any arguments to the normal way of running target debug cargo baz? It will just escape because there is only one argument there. Um, but if I give it one argument, now, now you can see that we've got, actually I'm overdoing it, aren't I? Right, it is dropping, it is dropping cargo baz and it is dropping the first thing because we're intent to making this a plugin. So if I move this plugin into my path and run it as a cargo plugin, now we just get what we want. Okay, so now we've got we've got a plugin, but it, it exists only in our current working directory. How do we properly install this so that we can use um, the cargo plugin anywhere we want? Um, so if we wanted to use my cargo baz here in um, the hash demo that I did yesterday, it like it, it needs to it, like the cargo baz no longer is in the path because current working directory does not include that cargo baz plugin. How do we get this somewhere where we can use all the time? We can use cargo install. So what cargo install will do is it will um, compile up your Rust project that is intended to be a, um, a cargo plugin, and it will put it into the home.cargo.bin area. Um, so if, if you were to kind of do this manually, you could, you could do it yourself with, with just copying in, let's go back into the cargo baz area and you can just, um, copy in that cargo, cargo baz into the, into the directory itself. And now we can, we can, um, we can use cargo baz anywhere anywhere we want. Um, the thing is, though, you can't like if you wanted to get rid of cargo baz, you would have to also do that manually because you can't cargo uninstall cargo baz, right? It doesn't it doesn't understand what that is because cargo actually kind of keeps track of what has been cargo installed. And, and thus, thusly, you can cargo uninstall things that have been cargo installed. And it does that by having um, two files. Um, it has two files in the cargo area called crates.toml and crates 2json So if I, if I open up this... Um, crates.toml you will see all of the uh, the plugins that I normally have going on here um, but you will not see that cargo baz cargo baz is, isn't in here so that's why we would want to cargo install it so that cargo will keep track of that I have installed it with cargo install and I can uninstall it with cargo uninstall. So let's first of all remove that binary cargo baz that we manually did here. And then what we can do is um, cargo install that uh, little package that we've just named. Um, and we can cargo, 
Okay, let me get rid of this window for a second. We can cargo, install, and then use dash dash path to install the cargo baz um, rust project. And it's going to compile it, and it's going to compile it in its optimized format, and it's going to place it in the uh, dot cargo slash bin slash cargo baz area so that we can see it in there it is cargo baz now we can also see that we have installed it via the cargo dash dash list and we will see that we've got baz here and if we wanted to cargo uninstall it uh, it's as easy as cargo baz again um, but i'm going to do this uninstall from another directory here that does not have a directory called cargo baz just to make sure that there's no there's no um confusion that it's doing path lookups or anything like that it's actually looking inside of that inside of that crates dot uh, dot crates dot toml thing so there you can see that we now have cargo baz um, inside of this dot crates dot toml thing and therefore we can cargo and uninstall cargo baz cool um so yeah uh that's that's as easy as it gets you just write a little plug in you make sure you can get rid of the first two arguments and you've you've got you've got a plugin uh it's as easy as that one one more trick here one more little thing that you need to realize going forward um let's go back into the other directory here so that we've got our cargo baz directory what would happen if i let me first of all cargo clean this and then i'm gonna move cargo baz to um cargo bob okay now i'm going to cargo install from the path of cargo bob can i what do i uninstall here cargo bob or cargo bats well let's take a look at let's take a look at that uh crates.toml again and you will see that there is a cargo baz here. Why is that? It should not be cargo baz. Did I not uninstall cargo baz? So what, what happens if I cargo uninstall cargo baz? So it removed cargo baz. Uninstall it, it's not there anymore. Um, let's install cargo bob. Take a look inside of the crates.io. It's cargo baz again. What happens if I uninstall cargo bob? Oops. Uninstall cargo bob. No, it doesn't like that. Why is that? It is because the name comes from. your cargo toml name. That's what it's using to understand the name here that, that you can install and uninstall. So I hope I've cleaned things up for you about how easy it is to make a cargo plugin. Obviously the plugin that we what, that we did here just spit stop out to the command line, but it is just a it's just an application that can do whatever you can do normally with Rust. You could make a plugin to run a web server. You could make a plugin to to do whatever the heck you wanted to. Um, yeah. So I hope you I hope you've learned something. I hope you learned something about Rust about Cargo. Um, and I hope you have a good day. Thank you.